Welcome to Season 3 of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga. Farfa and I are back on fresh accounts, and this time around we've got several new rules and plenty of exciting surprises throughout the season. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Saga Season 3. Welcome to episode 15 of Master Saga Season 3. We have a new ban list that we're going to do, which is obviously pretty exciting, but also we have a new rule that I want to mention. Well, actually two rules. So first up, if you pull a Royal Rare out of your Master Packs, you will have to go into that Seeker Pack. People are begging us to do that rule, and I think it's fine. The second rule is actually one that I was going to make with Season 4, but I've decided to implement it a bit earlier. A lot of people have been pointing out that the crafting system is a little bit unbalanced this season but I think that a cool way to balance it is that we're gonna keep the winner's prize the same you can still craft any main deck card that you want but the loser is allowed to craft any card from the secret pack that they opened 10 of so this is gonna be a pretty significant change it means that the loser has access to extra deck cards from the secret pack that they opened which is a pretty big deal but I think it should help uh, the loser actually create some new decks there we wanted to have it so that someone could craft extra deck cards but uh, Farfa pointed out that that would be a little bit too powerful if the winner could craft the extra deck cards. So I think it's going to be stuck on the loser there, and hopefully that should balance things out in the last five episodes. Besides that, I also wanted to mention that we will be legacy banning Lightning Storm. Technically, I was supposed to have four bans, four limits, but I'm going to use one of the bans to legacy ban a card that we both own. Obviously, Lightning Storm has been crazy in every single season of Master Saga. We've both gotten a lot of wins with it, and uh, it's probably time to say goodbye to Lightning Storm in Master Saga. Without further ado, though, we have uh, our bands for today. So I will have three bands, and Farfa will have one, and then we'll have the same thing for limits. Uh, so for my first ban, I will say that I'm going to ban Merrymaker, Spriggan's Merrymaker. Fuck that deck. Oh my gosh. One of the best decks that you've ever built in Master Saga, I think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good one. I don't know if I'd say the deck is dead, but that's the whole entire combo. This is, I don't know, kind of hard, I guess, because... I don't know what to hit. My decks are too decks good. Are <laughs> There's just so many options oh here. Oh my gosh. Um, I figured that the best thing is that just to stop you having good generic options with Pendulum, I'm going to ban Mighty Master. Yeah, yeah. No, I think that has to be the choice. Well, I had some fun with the spell counters. My next two bans are both for the uh, crazy decks that you were able to pick up over the last couple episodes. So I'm going to ban River Stormer from Infinitrax and then also Super Dora. Uh, both these cards are incredibly powerful Xyz monsters that give you consistency and a huge boss sponsor that I can't deal with. And even though I do have Kaijus, and even though Super Dora doesn't always hit the board on turn one, I think these are just two safe bands to hopefully make you play other decks. I I'm think gonna I would have hit bands. Brutal Dozer or something, but that's fair. Well, I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> okay, moving on to the limits. Moving on to the limits. So my um, Spriggins limit is going to be Spriggins, Kit, and Dogmatica Punishment. Both those cards are going to be limited oh, now. No. Um, Punishment was a card that I really wanted to ban, but I just couldn't justify banning it over any of those Xyz monsters. I do own a copy that I stole from you one episode, which was kind of cool, but uh, man, that card's crazy. Not to mention that you have the uh, Skull Knight, which is ridiculous. I cannot believe that you just happened to pull that. Punishment is definitely a card that I do not want to play into when you have three copies of it. I guess I'll just have to randomly draw it now and sack you with it. Yeah, just just draw it, you know. <laughs> What's yeah. your limit? Uh, so my limit is going to be... It's kind of hard, again, because you're... A lot of your cards aren't very good. Um, the other, the, one of the options I was thinking about was going into Abductor to just really limit your pendulum strategy. Mm. But I think you've got kind of a Light Sworn deck sort of forming, so I'm gonna limit Solar Recharge. Yeah, that's actually like a pretty interesting hit because I only have um, two copies of Charge, and that deck gets a lot worse when there's no like draw power. So. No, I think Solar Recharge is a fair hit. I will also limit Infinitrack Harvester. So uh, I know that banning the uh, River Stormer might seem like I don't need to hit the Harvester anymore, but I'm actually a little bit afraid of those cards just being a good engine because they get you a lot of advantage. They spin their wheels, they draw you cards, etc., etc. So I'm going to limit the Harvester to hopefully just prevent you from playing Infinitracks and trains in the future episodes here. All right, well, we'll see how successful that is. Oh, I'll just <laughs> yeah. pull an entirely new deck, Doug. Don't worry. Yeah, and don't forget that today we are opening 30 packs. We have the first anniversary bundle, and this will give us a ton of new cards and a bunch of new options for secret packs, hopefully, which should make this balance episode pretty crazy. Let's get into the polls, and good luck. Good luck, Doug. Right. You're gonna need it. <laughs> 
<laughs> YouTube, welcome back to our vanless special. Doug has taken a big chomp out of my ass. Ah, sorry, my deck list, my collection. And this time we're gonna have to uh, try and pull yet another amazing strategy to defeat him with. So we're beginning with 30 master packs from the first anniversary bundle. Try build an entire new strategy or something perhaps. All right, first 10 packs here. Let's go. We're just trying to open some good secret packs, uh, secret packs I suppose. There's a Derek Crane. Oh, boy. Would be a shame if we could recraft ban cards, I suppose. Duck Fighter. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. We've got dual avatar feet. Aha, uh -huh, feet. <laughs> Grave Squirmer. That's pretty cool if we end up playing that crap. All right, over here we've got a Necros of Colossal Ass. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be playing Necros. Nothing, just no staple cards. That's an okay level 3 extender. And over here we've got a Topologic Bomber Dragon. That's a very good card, but a bit awkward and sealed. I mean, you really have to build a deck around it. And Natoria Dragonfly. I love Dragonfly. Evil Hero Lightning Golem. Infestation Wave. Live Twin Kiss a Kill. Oh, wait, yo. Our live twin deck? If we could get... Uh, okay, uh, it's not possible. We need to, like, open the live twin pack, basically, to really make that work. All right, another holo here. Give me some good secret packs to go into. Reclusia is a good random card, I suppose. And Magicians. And over here, we've got an ultra rare. It's the first ultra rare of today. Let's have a darn good look at this real... I don't want to play Charles. That deck is so confusing. All of those cards have three million words, dude. I don't... I... No. That's my third... Or something Unakalhai. The Tricky! And the Hollow. First Bamboo Sword. Okay. Here we go. The first anniversary bundle. What will be in here? Maybe we'll go into Dark Magician. Who knows? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at all those URs. So not only is this about uh, going to secret packs, of course, but we have a huge chance to pull staple cards with 30 master packs. Maybe we'll see some cool URs here. I'm not really sure, but uh, Mind Pollutant, not terrible. But we will see. We will see. I'll try to go a little bit fast because we do have a ton of packs to open this episode. But obviously, we want to see what we get. So we're not going to go too fast. Okay, we got the paparazzi. Perfect. Just what I needed. Okay. Destiny and Dragoon, Hoppier Squadron, and Ancient Gear Reactor Dragon. Um, I'll have to take a look at the Ancient Gear pack, but to be completely honest, I have been getting wrecked the last few episodes here. If you remember my uh, record, the last five was 4-1. Sorry. Farfa's record was 4-1. Mine was 1-4. Um, Trickstar Reincarnation. Interesting. Maybe that's actually kind of a cool pack. We do have some Cybers cards um, that could work with that. But uh, yeah, I really need to start going into some competitive packs here i know i usually go for like the fun packs but we are losing we are getting our ass kicked so we definitely need to find some good archetypes to go <laughs> we can just go into the earth machine pack that i just hit a bunch of cards in okay pack number six pack number six. Oh my gosh look at all these hollows so many hollows in these uh master packs today evil eye hero odd eyes dragon overlord what is that have not seen that one but it's in the Odd Eyes pack. I don't know. We don't really have like a ton of pendulum payoffs anymore without the Mighty Master in the game. Pack number seven. Dual Avatar. Uh, probably not. Probably not. I do think I have like a couple cards for that archetype for some reason. So it's not like completely unplayable, but probably not our best option. Um, Watt Castle. Broken. Pack number nine. Um, Yosenju, interesting. Uh, this is actually a pretty good pickup. We have a Magistus Zora, which is a good card. It just equips that, and that could, like, pop something. And then we can special summon a level 4 Spellcaster from our hand or grave. Maybe we'll look into that. It is a tuner as well, which really makes a difference. Toy Vendor, Gem Knight, <laughs> the Elba Abyss pack. Um, I mean, that's a good pack. Farfa obviously went into it, and it was crazy. Next 10 packs! All right, there's an ultra definitely in here. That's uh, it's promising. Cap shell. Maybe we'll play Sprite. Give me some good secret packs to get into. I'm loving this. Three hollows in this one pack here. Barge Phoenix centric. Bust a dragon. 
And Spaceway Octo Bypass. Hmm, generic rank three, more pendulum support. It's getting kind of sus, if you know what I mean, but potentially Buster Dragons. Let's see what our ultra rare is. All right, we've got Attack the Moon. Our ultra is Honest. Not Liar, but Honest. I would honestly prefer to have pulled Liar. Elemental Hero Spirit of Dios. Bazinga. The old dragon. And aloof lupine. I could have millions could be okay. Well, we'd have to play an absolute ape deck for that to be good, so. Another holo from pack 16. Pack 16 coming right up here. That's a freaking fusion destiny. Holo is Super Flame Strike. Deck Force, an Evil Swarm Mandragore is a good level 4 extender, and we've got Destiny Board, F's in the chat, F's in the chat, 18 has got a holo for me, it's a Metaltron 12, the true Draco combatant, I, it, I would love to play true Draco, it would be really funny to play true Draco, I'm just saying, is there a true Draco pack, there isn't a true Draco pack, that's so cringe, alright, what do we got here, uh, Big Core Mech 2, Got a Libich, Zubaba General, generic rank 4 that does what? Stop looking at Libich, Farfa. Equip a warrior from your hand to this and it gains attack. Eh. And the Nebra Disc. Phenomenally. Oh. Let's see what our final pack is. With our second bundle. Sub Terra Succession and Amphibious Swarm Ship Amblo Whale. This just goes back into the machine pack, I think, right? That pack is weird. That's the one that I went into in Roulette and it doesn't have like half the uh, archetypes. Layer of Darkness, IP Mascarena, huge pickup. We'll have to look at what this can go into, but IP is a great pickup. That was great in our Fabled deck last year. <laughs> Not last year, well it was last year, but last season. We have a playset of Fencing Fire Ferret now. I don't know why I haven't found a deck to play that in. It is a pretty cool card. It's kind of like a hand that doesn't special summon. Maybe I'm seeing why I didn't put it in anything, but it is a cool card, it is a cool card. I almost put it in that uh, deck last week because I think it's a rare. So, maybe it would have been an okay level 4 monster, but we didn't need it. We didn't need it. Yeah, our extra deck is crazy. We just need more main deck cards. Sky Iris. Therion Irregular. Wait, Sky Iris makes you want to go into that Odd Eyes pack. Hmm. I'll think about it. Fluffle Bear to go with our Toy Vendor that we pulled. Bing Lancer. Snipe Hunter. I mean, not terrible, but like the Sun Avalon combo, if you can pull all the pieces for it, is really crazy on turn one. Like we could set up with like some real negates with one vanilla monster, which would be incredible, but I don't know. Um, Laundry Dragon, Cyber Angel, Vrash. Yeah, Sewing is an SR. I missed it in the roulette episode. Harpy's Pet Dragon Fearsome Fire Blast. That does not unlock the Harpy Seeker Pack. Look at how many Seeker Packs we've gotten, by the way. We have 15 of them so far. We're headed into the final 10 packs here. That is insane. Scrap Twin Dragon. Is Scrap Wyvern in that pack? All right, 10 new packs. Here we go. Anything good here? A second Colossalus. That's really funny. Lily Bell. I love Lily Bell. Wait, no, I don't love Lily Bell. I don't love Lily Bell. I'm joking. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. I love Lily Bell. Diabound, Colonel. Dude, I thought Diabound was the coolest monster ever in the anime. And then I read, like, the accompanying Diabound card, and it was, like, completely worthless. 23. A Lumirage. This... It, <laughs> fun fact. This outs Dragoon. Read it. Read it right now. 24, we've got a Pendulum cards. How many Secret Packs have I unlocked here? 12? That's crazy. Cheat Commissioner, that's for the FTK combo. We pulled another Fire Fist card, but no Fire Fist pack. Ice Hand's very good, but without targets, that's kind of bad. Our Ultra Rare is going to be... Oh, we've got Blackwing Shora, nice. All right, could be anything in the game, but we're specifically looking for good cards. So as long as this is a good card, then that's going to be really beneficial to finishing this series on a high. 
That's okay. That's a good generic card to have, actually. All right, 28. We've got another Altair, randomly. Oh, that's really good, actually. And Mystical Fairy Elfuria? What does this do? That is so bad. All right, anything good here? No. Alt Slash? Nope. Literally no good cards in there. All right, final pack is a hollow. We're ending on a high note here. It's an ultra rare. It's a good card. It's something that's going to absolutely game break the game. Ogdodex, I'm back in there again. Do we go for round two? All right, and Crackhead. That is an insane card. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, okay, dokey. Let's go check out these secret packs and decide what to pull from. Final 10 packs here. Final 10 packs. Yeah, this is going to be a ton of options. Farfa could basically be playing anything this episode. I could be playing anything this episode. It's going to go kind of insane. Symphonic Warrior rocks. Wait, that's kind of crazy. We do have some Symphonic Warriors, but I don't know. I think you need like a lot of the new ones to do good stuff. We have two of this now, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism. That's pretty good. A potential floodgate against level six or higher deck. Oh, there's a system down that I opened. Nice, nice. Alter guys jump scare. Ooh, we got some URs here. Well, UR, singular. Piercing the darkness. Neo, <laughs> so what the heck? A lot of cards for this pack today and uh, Piercing the Darkness does technically work in the Dark Magician pack. Like we could go into that. I don't know. I'll take a look if we already have Dark Magician cards. If we do, maybe I'd go into it. Evil Swarms, Unchained. Wait, Unchained is kind of cracked. It's good. It's very good. Another Yosenju pickup. That's kind of funny. The thing with Unchained is that I don't know how to play them. So a little bit tricky. We don't have a lot of time to learn the deck today. We're just going to build it and play. Majesty Hyperion. That's pretty cool. Secrets of Dark Magic, by the way, really uh, going towards our Dark Magician deck. <laughs> Pop your own cards. Yeah, yeah. No, there, there's some plays in there. There's some good generic cards in there as well. Pack number 29. Nothing. Final pack here. Final pack. We got a UR. Zapion, Wavy and I is pretty good. Deep Sea Prima Donna, not the best pack. That one is kind of rough. 23 freaking secret packs, though. That is crazy. We have a ton of options. Also, we unlocked uh, the Dark Edition pack as well, and we got some field stuff. That's kind of neat. Yeah, let's get to uh, looking at these and see what we're going to go into. All right, YouTube, beginning with five random packs. First one, not really random, but we're going to see if we can unlock anything better. I've had a look around, and I've decided that we're going to go with Buster Blader. Let's go with five random packs, first of all. Ultra off the top. So this is a good little uh, experiment. If this is a good ultra rare, then we're set up for a pretty decent deck, potentially. No, we're not. But that opens a new secret pack. So we'll think about it. That's a destruction sword. That's really good. That's what we're looking for. A hollow black salvo and buster dread. That's not good, unfortunately. Actually, that's really bad. That's a second one. All right, pack number two. Let's have a look here. Nothing good. The third Buster Dragon. That could have been a fusion. This is pack number three. Alright, second Spiral Fusion is pretty good. We got the third Destruction Sword, but no Prologues. And Charging Gaia is number two here. Alright, I don't think we've gotten lucky enough with the first couple of packs here. I think we abort mission. Ah, we go again. Pack number four. Let's go! Get it twisted! There it is. Buster Dragon. The ultimate swordsman. It's in here, I believe. I know it's in here. Ah. Uh, that's the wrong one. I don't know about it at this point. Pack number five. We just go all in at this point, baby. Oh my god. My fourth destruction sword of memories, but zero prologue. No prologues have been pulled. No prologues. I'm gonna go for ten packs of Ogdo Heratic. Why? I've literally just given up at this point. Trying to not pull from the... Wow, that's horrible. Let's give this a shot. See what we've got here. We've got Boreas, the sharp. All right. So, Heretic Seal from the Ashes. No vanilla monster, but we got Reflection. That's good. Uh, this is kind of a bad pack, actually. We only got the trap card, I think. We've got Zoa 
And another asset. Not a lot of hollows in this, and I think I've already got most of the rares and commons that I kind of want. So, um, yeah, low rarity, low rarity stuff I think we're good on. Yeah, this needs to be, like, high rarity pulls in order for this to be, like, decent. Alright, uh, second vanilla is good. We were missing that. And that's a bad card. We don't need that one. Uh, field spell, we've got that already. I think we're finishing Flogos now. It was just like a waste of a week, wasn't it? We just, just didn't pull anything. Noya! Okay, that's really good. We got Noya. That's a second Noya there, sure. Heratic Dragon of Nut! Nut. Heratic Dragon of a set and Sutak. All right. Any good hollows here? Nimble Amogus. An evil Singularity. Is this like bugged or something? Or is this the artwork? Ah, damn, this is some hot garbage, man. Oh my god, this is just worthless pack. Ah, uh, nothing good here. Nope. Got three seals of creation. Does this even do anything? No. Oh, jeez, man. Like, oh, I kind of just want to, like, dis disenchant everything I just pulled and go again. Like, that was worthless, man. All right, so there are like a million options. I had a very difficult time narrowing it down. I don't even know if this is the pack that I'm going to go into, but I will start off by going one pack into it, maybe two packs, and see what we end up with. But um, yeah, there were so many choices. Dark Magician, this pack, Scraps, Dark World is a deck that chat wants me to play really bad. Might pivot into that one. Maybe, we'll see, we'll see. But uh, this one has a lot of good cards at low rarity. Arvada is just a good monster negate. Obviously, all the Unchained cards are crazy. Even the Neps cards are probably fine. You know what? I am going to go into this pack. That first pack showed me that this is the right one to go into. Let's just do it. Ten packs. Let's see. Yes, let's go. The Coder Luck, right? This is crazy. This is crazy. This one uh, has some really good cards in it if we can actually pull like the archetype cards. Abominations Prison and Yaksha and Barong in that second pack, which is really the first pack of this 10. And um, I'll read the Neps cards. I don't really know what they do, but I'm sure some of them are playable. But we have like one of all the Fire King cards already. That's perfect. Too bad we can't use our uh, Royal Rare Circle from Master Roulette. Uh, Ruin, whatever. Uh, we have a Sarma or Sarama, which we already had one copy of, by the way. Pack number three. Okay, we're getting some hollows, but some of them... Oh, Dragon Pet Magician, not bad. <laughs> Dragoonity Knight. Ooh, the Cerulean Sacred Phoenix of Neps. Uh, maybe we can look into a Ritual Neps deck. I don't really know if that's viable. There's just no way. There's just no way, but maybe. Uh, we do have artifacts. Yeah, we do have artifacts with these cards, which could be kind of funny. Wing Blast, that is our first copy of that um, from these packs. We do already have one copy of it. Mechlord Fortress, kind of funny. We actually do have a couple Mechlord cards now. Okay, Infernity Inferno, broken. Uh, Aruha, that's our second copy of that. Second copy of Prison. We already had one copy of Aruha, one Sarama, and one of the Trap. And um, we had that before we started opening this, so we already had a pretty good baseline of cards. Third copy, Wing Blast. Second copy of... Oh, and Hero Lives! Um, do we have any targets for that that are relevant? Maybe, maybe. And then the second copy of the Ritual Monster is actually pretty interesting as well. Maybe we should play that now. Hmm... I don't really know what ritual support we have. Do we have Manju? Do we have Senju? Those cards would make a pretty big difference. Devotee? Whoa! Conductor! Wait, maybe we should play... I don't really know what these cards do, though. I'd have to read them. We only have, like, probably 30 minutes to read all these cards. Yeah, we do have a craft this week, too. Arvata. Second copy of that. Nice. And uh, I think we have a third copy of that Abomination's Prison as well. Okay. What do we got? Pack number nine. Uh, first copy of the Chamber, and Golden Castle of Stromberg. That is a card. That is a card. Um, someone said that Conductor is a really important card for the archetypes. Maybe we can't play the Neps cards. They have a lot of, like, low rare... I didn't realize that they had two level two ritual monsters. Very strange. What is the ritual spell? Pack number 10, by the way. Um, oh, we see our first Rakea and our first Unchained Soul. Very good pickups to see in the final pack there of those 10. Let's open four more packs and see what we get. Okay, we got a UR. Wait, maybe these pulls are really good. We have not pulled uh, the extra deck monsters, though. We did already have the Unchained Link 2 monster. Oh, here we go. Give me a good... Oh, we just pulled Devotee from outside the pack. Grunix. Um, maybe good? Probably. I think I would probably just try to play this card. I feel like this is just a really annoying card in Sealed. Ooh, nothing too much here. Oh my gosh, wait, it was! We pulled Anguish. 
Okay, so now we have the Link 2 and the Link 3. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Two packs left, I believe. What do we got? Show me something crazy. We finally got the Ritual Spell for Naps out of that pack. Oh, okay. So maybe I'll have to pull more of that. I don't know. Wing Blast, Wing Blast, another Bujin. Okay, perfect. Escape of the Unchained. Final pack. Final pack you are? Okay, how many Rakea? I think two. Maybe only one, though. I would love to see an extra die. Ooh, uh, it's not from the pack. Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Viking Island and... Oh, this is the Therion draw card, right? Not a bad 15 packs here. We didn't pull, like everything everything for all three archetypes but that's never gonna happen i think we have a couple like good baseline cards though let's uh get to deck building and see how it goes youtube welcome back time to build a deck Barbara, did you seriously go into the Ogdodic pack? Yes, I seriously went into the Ogdodic pack. Or are you seriously trying to play Heratic this week? Let me cook, okay? Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. My craft this week was Nemesis Corridor. The reason for that is I already own Protoss and Eschatos that I've just randomly pulled. Combine that with Nemesis Flag and my baby dragons and the Nemesis monsters and being able to search the corridor and for the random losses I also dr uh, managed to... Uh, Full. I have a really bad deck in Heratic that facilitates a really good engine in Protoss and Eschatos, which win games by themselves. So the idea is that banish some cards with the Baby Dragons or Armagram and try and attempt to just turbo out Protoss and Eschatos and hopefully search a uh, Corridor Flag, potentially going to Colossus as well. It's some real cope this week, dude. I'm j there were so many good, better secret packs I could have went to. I just, I wanted to try something different. Something we've never had before. Someone that even many Yugi tubers have never played before. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to duel. Okay, here is our fire deck with unchained cards in it. Of course, there is a fire unchained monster, which we do have three copies of. This looks to be pretty powerful. There are a lot of independently strong cards in here and some pretty cool combos that you might not realize. Our craft is blaster. I wanted to go for a couple different SR cards, but I really feel like because I won last week, I should go for a UR to take advantage of that UR craft. And yeah, I do think this looks pretty solid. One card that I think people might be questioning is fencing fire ferret. This isn't only in here for normal summoning it and then crashing it into an opponent's monster you can actually pop this card with your other card effects like arvada and fire king island to trigger it as well i think this deck should be pretty powerful but we'll find out in the duels something about how you just love playing over 40 what is it like what's the secret there are just that many good cards there are that many good cards okay <laughs> i start off with unchained or wait this isn't an unchained card what? abominations prison Oh my god. So a deck okay. I have never played in my life. So we will see how this goes. All right. So, yep. Destroy is all set. you need to know. So just to confirm, we did Legacy Ban Lightning Storm already. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> you, right. We did, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. 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 Plus one okay. already. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead, go ahead. I don't know what the card does. I don't know what the card does. I don't know what these cards do. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Darko one. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Let yeah, go. yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. No, no, no. Don't say it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Doug seems really upset right now, guys. I hope he's okay. Well, I just, uh, you know, searched Sarama and then passed. Okay, of course anyway, it's not Doug. Yeah, anyway, yep. This is what I've decided to try and cope with this week. <laughs> I normal summon. Hieratic Dragon of Gabet. Oh, this is a good deck. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, what does this one do? Uh, specials on normal It was a good dragon. deck 10 years ago. Yeah, I mean, that's that's fine. All right, I'm going to go and activate the effect to tribute to special summon Nebthit. And that triggers the effect of yeah. Gebeb, the <laughs> special summon from my yeah, deck. Yeah, the Grumbler. <laughs> Yeah, that one. Stop <laughs> laughing, dog. Uh, the level eight. Okay, sure. Man, yeah. I don't know if you have it, but I actually have a Labradite dragon. Do you want to trade? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly would be down for that. You know what? You should impl implement trading next. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe. Next, what's it called? Okay, so here's the annoying thing. Um, your deck just says destroy, and like that's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I hate playing uh, as Unchained. 
Like, I know people are big There's fans of this deck, but it's... it's everything annoying. floats, man. You unlocked this pack, like, the last episode of last season. You had, like, a crazy uh, Unchained Paleo deck, I remember. <laughs> I don't know if crazy is what I would say, but it was... It had 30 trap manageable. cards. That's crazy to me. Um, yeah, Black Dragon <laughs> Clap Serpent. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty crazy. We got Pisty LP combo. Okay, let me think. What do I want to go for here? Um, I'm going to go into Link Spider. Link oh, spider. Shit. Yeah. Wait, actually Link Spider. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you thought you were memeing me? Oh, yeah. you asshole. What the hell? Special summon Flame Bell Guard from hand. Next, I'm going to go for a security dragon. <laughs> you, you confused yet? Um, I got to activate the effect of my black dragon. Bounce, right? Or no? Doing some combos. Oh, Doing some combos. Effect. Sure. Yeah, I can uh, bounce a Sarama. Target mostly Pokemon sure returns in hand. Yeah, so I'm going to activate the effect of security dragon to bounce your Sarama. Sure. All right. And, uh, well, I guess it's time. A special summon. Let's see what we banish first of all. Uh, so I think <gasps> I need... Wait, 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 wait. What? No, no, no. These have different... Uh, these are all the same type and the same attribute. Unless... You can you can, you can banish from field, though. You can banish you? from field. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're cool. We're cool. We're chill. We're chill. I uh... special summon Protoss. Oh, man. You actually do have Protoss. That's, uh, that's okay. I will activate the effect and I will call dark. That is. I think that's annoying. good against Unchained. I, I will Phoenix Chain this. No! <laughs> We're never letting darks not be special. No. no. <laughs> so bad. How many, okay, well, I guess you're right. telling me, but man, you have Protoss oh, and the other one. That this just is makes so like freaking opium, dude. I can't believe I'm doing this. I link summon. Deco Talker! <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is getting bad, isn't it? It's, it's, it's Yeah, bad. no, that's good. That's fine. <laughs> All right, and now I special summon! <gasps> no fucking dragon! Wait. Oh, the white dragon. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I think that's about it, right? Surely? Do you have some sort of insane Link 4 you can make, too? I mean... I think I'm happy to pass on this, but you know, I, there's there are some options here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that's definitely not oh that one. All right, gosh. let's just go to battle phase. Uh, I'll attack with White Dragon. Yeah, I'll just block some damage. Let's activate Chamber. Special from deck. Okay, does Abominable Chain Soul target? Oh, no, I don't think it does. Does it? I think it does. No, everyone says it doesn't target. Okay. It's just on this resolution. This is so annoying. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I guess I just have to contend with this. All right. Sarama effect special. I think I'm just floating to stay alive a little bit. I'll summon this guy. Sure. I'll run over it. I guess I have to run over them at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. All right. Activate effect. Mm-hmm. I think it is still just this one, though. It's big. Yeah. So okay. Did you just not pull Abomination? Oh, you did. All right. Well, let's go Abomination. So this doesn't target or does target? If this card destroy one card, doesn't oh, target. It doesn't target. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Get out of here, Deco um, Talker. Mm, yeah, I feel like yeah. I uh, really got to try hard these next couple episodes because I have been losing the last. Like, this entire season has been an uphill climb for me, so. You have not been winning Yu-Gi-Oh! That yeah, is true. No. I actually think my Saga okay, so record might be worse than my Roulette record recently, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Bizarro <laughs> land. Yeah. So just during doing? the end phase, if this is in the grave because it was destroyed, you just special it back. Yeah. That's... Okay. Yeah, you just okay, had then. three of these last year, or last season, which was, like, insane. Um, yeah, I was playing it as, uh, like, what's it called? Just generic. Ooh. Oh, I messed up, so yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> um alright, let's go act the call the haunted. Sure. Uh special this. Why is there a ferret flame fencing fire ferret? Oh, in your oh thing? you you'll see why we got fencing ferret fire flame. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, sure. Set this. Pop this. Well, you know, it said destroy, right? So I had to include it. 
Um, okay, question, am I dead? Uh, no, I don't think so. There's Rikea, and then it's Corey, it's between the two months for a hand or deck. Merrick Dante. I should. <laughs> I'm not locked into fiends, I should. Um, I think I'm just going battle phase here. I'm just hitting. Let's go hit. I have a few pretty good top hit. decks here, but. I believe it, I believe it. I do need to draw them. Hit. Activate Rikea. Pop this. God, I hope you can use both effects in the same turn. Okay, you can. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> All right, let's start with this one. Let's hit another 15, main phase two. Oh, that's why everyone was saying that this deck. Oh, oh, okay. I, I understand a lot more. I understand a lot more. Yep. Yep. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Did not realize this card needs to use an unchained soul. <laughs> um, people were kind of like telling oh, me in deck building. Right, okay. I think they were trying to help me. And then I kind of, they were like, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it takes an unchained soul. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Uh, well, I mean, sure, that's Thunderbolt. <laughs> I don't know if that's good here. I mean, it's, I think that's pretty good. This can add one from Grave, and this one can special from deck, but no, I think it's actually pretty strong. Um, so I had this last turn, and I misplayed by not firing it off, because I thought you would just bring back the Abominable Soul, but it turns out it oh. can only be summoned once per turn. With the Rakea, there's only... Yeah. Okay. That's what I got. All right, well, I will normal summon Heratic Dragon of Nut. <laughs> Okay, once we're in regards to activate, yeah. Um, so if I run over this, just summons an unchained monster from Hander deck. Yeah. Hypothetically. I feel like I shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that might be bait. I, I, I feel like I probably shouldn't oh, do that specifically. Not in this scenario. You have a background. Okay, okay. Oh, that's actually not <laughs> what I want at all. Um, okay. Well, let's let's go normal Sarama. Oh, what do you got back there? What do you got back there? I mean, this doesn't trigger because it's not on the field. Oh, man. Uh, so, I mean, I just gotta hope that that's good. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, are you gonna crash? Please, oh no, I what is this? I have to, I don't really know how far it gets me, but it does get me at least, yeah. Special okay, so you family. only own one soul. All right, that's good to know. <laughs> that's good to know. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> so I guess I could go, yeah, this special is from hand or grave. So we'll go uh, this. To set, and then I'm actually gonna pop the fiendish. Go ahead. What does this card do? It's Icarus attack. No, it's no, special it, summon. it's uh, call the haunted or special from hand. Um, or grave. There's someone unchained from your hand or deck. Well, I guess I just keep running, ramming into these since you don't have the good one. Hopefully. Um, hand or deck. Yup. Yup. Unfortunate. Oh, no effect. Okay. Just not in a dream, baby. <laughs> Just not in a dream. Let's go. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. can't believe this deck is kind of working, honestly. It's not in a dream. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right. Activate this. this Activate this. Activate well, this is just the end of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was able to defeat the nut. <laughs> Man, that was, right. this was a lot uh, closer than I thought it would be. I'm kind of like down to like literally my last card there. Um, Why does it not target, man? I can't. Oh, God. Do you know what Nuts Effect is? Yeah, I know what Nuts Effect is. <laughs> oh. Why does it not target? Bro, the nut is untargetable. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, good luck, Duck. Good luck. Let's see. Um, okay. Normal summon. <laughs> Fire Jesus. King Avatar Arvata. 
That is that is a card. Yeah. Um. Go ahead. All right. That's fair enough. Okay. You know, I really like right. the Fire King cards. They're cool. They're cool. They're moving <laughs> out there. Lightning Storm. So when a it's monster effect is activated while this is on the field, you can negate the activation to destroy. Okay, cool. Doug, I absolutely beg, please. I hope these aren't unchained cards you've got back there. <laughs> I, I beg. Oh, man. Okay, I beg. That's, that's good. I did set one unchained card. <laughs> But right, that is well, very good. That is very good. We got drowning. <laughs> Fucking twin twins. Yeah, yeah. That's ah, right. again. Going to special summon black dragon. How many of these do you have? Like all these. Just one in one. Okay, okay. That's. I'm gonna trade into the Arvata. Oh shit! Yeah, that works. And and white dragon. Yep. And for my next trick, I will normal summon Gebeb and set one inconspicuous back row. Gebeb is out. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, we're gaming, I guess. Okay. I normal summon fencing fire ferret. Wow, the synergy is so bad. Too bad you're not going to have it pull off, Doug. Oh, I activate Seal of Banishment. And as <laughs> suggested by the name, Doug, it banishes. I banish your Farfa Rakea. always has to play Farfa cards, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty good. All right. And we summon a Seal of the Sun Dragon. All right. Oh, let's run it over. Uh, fair, fair, fair. Set, go. Oh wait, that was actually. Wait, is this a permanent banish? Oh, this was terrible. Uh, that was. Yeah, that was so bad. That was. Wait. Choose one heretic monster and target one card your opponent. Any card too. Holy shit. So. Yeah. If you can't special summon dark monsters, that's pretty damn good, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I got all sorts of monsters in here. <laughs> all right, let's begin with special summoning white dragon. Okay. Now I'm going to activate the effect of Nemesis Flag to return Black Dragon to the deck. Yeah, and wait. Summon this it. is fucking. Look at this combo right here. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, now man. I'm going to activate the effect of Nemesis Flag. Yep. To search for <laughs> Nemesis Corridor. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Doug. Don't worry about it. Wait a sec. Wait a and, second. And now I'm going to wait, activate. Wait just a minute here. The effect of Nemesis Corridor to put back a banished card, special summoning himself. And it appears to me, Doug, that I have activated the effect of a thunder <laughs> monster in the hand there. Yeah, haven't yeah. I? Yeah, it, it well, appears like that. It appears like that. So I'm going to go into... First of all, we're going to go into... Do you just already have the fucking proto <laughs> Haha, you can't destroy me. I'm normal summoned. <laughs> That'll show you. Yeah, no, no, that's uh, yeah. fine. He's, uh, he's just here as a little bit of fodder for my yeah. friends. And next, we're going to... Let me just light, fire, earth. Okay, cool. Now we're going to special summon Protoss by yeah. banishing an earth, fire, and a light monster. Not bad, not bad. I declare dark. Okay. And what is this effect? You can one of your banished nemesis and add it to your hand. That's pretty cool. Now we can add and recycle back <laughs> the flag shit. here. These are some high-powered decks, actually. And we here we go. Oh my god, I did this cards. thing again where I... Okay, it doesn't matter. I can't make Colossus, but it's it's whatever. Oh, because it's dark? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No. When, how did you... When did you... <laughs> Okay, so this card so, can't like, be Okay, so th I was I was I was checking to Yeah, that oh that's so annoying. Okay, so I was checking to see like how um Cause if I summon Colo if I summon Colossus first, then Protoss, then Protoss pops my Colossus. So I'd have to like banish my own corridor. Oh, um, to protect it and then you're out of protections for the Colossus. 
Yeah, so in my mind, I was trying to save as much protection for the Colossus, but not realizing that it locks me as well. So that's unfortunate. But listen, hey, we've got Protoss oh. for Dark Online. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead, man. You're fine. Okay. All right. God. I don't, I don't think that's that good, chat. What a really, really obnoxious loop. Isn't it? Put back the white dragon. Oh, wait. Special flag. Activate this. Add Eschatos. This is a dark monster guy. <laughs> Fuck. And, and all of my chat has immediately summon. forgotten about the Protoss dark, by the way. <laughs> like every single <laughs> Immediately person. forgot. Just yeah, instantly yeah. forget. Uh, 30, 25 plus 18 is 73. Let's go. No, no, nice. you don't have 73. Not a fucking chance, man. Not a chance, bro. Trust me. Wait. Special summon Eschatos. What? Proto's Eschatos? <laughs> you just saw me Hold search them. Yeah, I know, but it's like, I've never seen these cards on the board at one time. You have done what? the un... What the fuck? Heratic okay. deck, by the way. Heratic deck, by the way. Oh shit. Okay, game three, oh game my three. God. Here we go. This is the draw that changes everything. Like legitimately not a bad setup. Um, okay, let's activate Island. Okay, so you're playing Fire Kings in there as well. That's, that's funny, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Pop this. Oh, uh, could even okay. do this, which is really funny. But um, yeah, I'll just go for the destroying your one of what's it called? Okay. Uh, Set one. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Will he? <laughs> hey, Doug. What's your thoughts on Lightning Storm? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just, it doesn't silly. exist. Fuck Lightning Storm. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, a normal summon without tributing with the effect of Heratic Dragon of Assets. I simply feel like, oh no, there's no way to do the Black Dragon again, did you? Let's go activate Chamber. Okay. Special this. Activate effect. Discard this. You simply do not have the one of for the third game in a row. <laughs> you fuck. Like, hasn't this been an every, have you not? Or maybe one time you had the Wyver Burster? No, I feel like you've been banishing light monsters. I don't think, I don't think there's anything you can do from here. Like, it's fine, it's fine. I just baited you into summoning it. There's nothing you can do, except if you oh. happen to have a, a nemesis. Just keep, keep talking, Doug. Doug, keep talking, please. I love it. Just keep speaking. That's great. Just, what next? Tell me that. You're just telling me the place here. Like, thank you. Let's go. I'm good. You know what? I'm just going to let you... <laughs> let me cook. Let me cook. Um. Okay, so I'm going to activate the effect of Nemesis Flag here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The Cerberus, yes. Yes, sir, it is Cerberus. Um, so you can only special summon Abominable Unchained once per turn. If this card in the grave, uh, yeah. Okay, so we won't mess that play up again. We're gonna go chain link one Cerberus. Targeting the soul. Yeah. And chain link to collapse serpent searching. Yep, that is fine. Oh, you're not even gonna negate the uh, search? Uh, I don't have a fire. Oh, does it not just can it send itself though, right? No, no. Um, oh, other. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering here. I'll just see what you do. Uh, well, I'm going to. Very much special summon Protoss next. 
Yeah, so on this one... No, cease! I'll just see what you do. So you definitely can't use Arvata, right? Because you need to destroy one of the fire monster. It's got right. a strong sense gravitary. Uh, okay, all right. Well, let's go and do it now. We're going to go dark on Protoss. Sure. It resolves? It resolves. It's madness! All right, we're going to go battle phase and punch over. Yeah. To bring back Yaksha. I will bring back the Yaksha. That's fine. Activate effect. You can't bait me into like calling fire, by the way. Like I could have called fire, but I'm not calling fire against uh I really against <laughs> Unchained. I don't care about your un your stupid fire. True, 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 Those true. cards suck. Yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. Um I think that's it for this turn. Yeah, no, go ahead. Alright. <clears throat> Rest in peace. Yaksha. Okay. Oh, I have auto chain on apparently. I draw. What do we got? Um. Uh, let's go. Um, call of the haunted. Hmm. Okay. Special. Without darks this turn. Arvada. Activate island. Let him cook. Destroy the Arvata to add. Well, anyway, this is add. I'm gonna add Grunix. I'm gonna add Grunix. Sheesh! And then. Wait, what are you gonna do with Grunix? Um, oh, it summons from hands? It, it could. And then. Oh, you're gonna crash and then summon Grunix. Oh, I don't even have to because it just gets destroyed. So I'll go battle. Sure. Attack. Okay. End phase, resolve the thing, activate Yaksha, Yaksha effect, pop Garunix, go ahead. I don't know if that's the line. I was I haven't really been looking Wait, at chat you, too much this game, so I'm not sure if that's the line that they wanted. Sure. Oh, there is I a think other you, line, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should have crashed the Yaksha, summon the Garunix, run over the Protoss. What? All right, Garunix special summon. Yeah. All right, so can I do 73 damage this turn? So you're basically, okay, so you don't have, I, I, I do just call fire now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let's just see if we can do enough damage, I suppose. Um, There's like two major plays that I was thinking about, but now that I'm at this stage where we're on your turn, I'm like, maybe I should have done the other one. <laughs> I think yeah. we always start with this. We're going to call fire. Sure. Yeah. Um, we're going to normal summon Gebeb. Yeah. And next we're going to cross cards. I need you to zoom in for this. <laughs> Heratic Dragon off! Zoom! <laughs> go, 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 go. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry. I had to get that out of my system. No, you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> uh, fuck, man. <laughs> Special summon out. Yeah, like the uh, level 8 guy. So then, yeah, yeah, so level 8. And now, okay, we're gonna use CR7 here. Go to tribute and destroy your thing. Yep. Oh, this is mandatory? That's hilarious. It's, yeah, yeah. That was the whole thing yeah, with uh, so Cosmo Fire Kings. You could just like pop it like half through the combo and then they would just lose their entire board. Yep. But it's a cool uh, card. So let's, let's go battle phase. We're gonna do damage first. Okay. And then, going to go main phase two, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> one of the most powerful combos in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Seals! Ha! <laughs> Seals pass plus Protos is pretty strong, yeah. <laughs> Actually, can't complain. Can't complain. Okay, there are draws Let's... here, believe it or not. Okay. Oh, that's... Not one of them. This, yeah. Yeah, activate Garunix, ha ha ha. Wait, what? Oh, it just has to activate. Yeah. Yeah. That's so weird. Um. Go ahead. Uh. Well, this would be silly to use now, I guess. So let's just go our turn. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're working with here. I don't have game here, so I'm just gonna have to like try and dig for something. Oh my god. 
Let's, uh... <laughs> guess so. That was your top deck? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh, my God. Dude. How am I supposed to win? All right, banish six. Here we go. Woo! That's a good card. Hey! hey. Oh, God. <laughs> um... Reborn. Hello. So those are like every good card in your deck for whatever situation you could want. <laughs> Let's go for the Nemesis. Yeah, yeah, that seems really strong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was it's okay. It's trying okay, it's not okay. to. I'm no, trying no. not to throw, Doug. We both. We both are trying to throw. I. I maybe was a little yeah. less successful with that than you were. Uh, yeah. Special flag. Uh huh. Activate. Mm -hmm. Get. I think mm -hmm. I get this. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're not going to mess up the order this time. Right, right. Ooh, right. I kind of want to put this back, but this is probably better. Put this thing back here. Right, so this one is adding back the nemesis <laughs> from our vanish hat. Oh my god. This I am is. Today. Holy shit. Yeah. I'm just playing heretics, Doug. I don't know what your problem is. Yeah, no, it's um once this gets going, the Nemesis cards, it's um pretty fucking crazy. Alright, let's call Dark now. I do have to protect with Colossus. Alright, we're not gonna mess up the order this time. Alright, then we're gonna go normal summon. Okay, so hypothetically, if I attack over and your guy is small enough with flag, do I have enough game with prosperity? It is game with prosperity. <laughs> or is it game without prosperity if I just go this? Uh, let's see. 11 plus 11 plus 26 is 48. Divided by 2 is 24. So it'll be 200 off if I attack with the Protoss first. So let's try and risk that it's game. And hope that that's small enough. No! <laughs> Blast! Oh. All right, well, Saved I'm sure this Wait, why does it say final blow? I, I think it's just like it thinks because you have like high attack, but like it, it reads the 26. Yeah. That's that is strange. a little kiss for you, Doug. Thanks. Mwah. <laughs> All right, pass. Okay, how do I out Protos for Dark, Thunder Dragon Colossus, and Heretic Seal? I think I would game if I went like Decode Talker or something stupid, I guess. Yeah, I actually had game if I did that. Oh my god, imagine it's drowning. Imagine it's drowned. Imagine. I don't think it is. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I can't imagine. Oh my god! Imagine it's drowning. <laughs> oh man. Imagine. Oh uh, dude. Wait. So here, this is what's really funny. I think I can play around that being being uh drowning. Yes, I can. That is so funny. Yes, I can. So I'm going to link off my Protoss and my Spheres. I'm going to summon Decode Talker. Yeah. I'm going to special summon White Dragon. <laughs> I'm going to special summon Black Dragon. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to overlay two level four monsters in defense <gasps> position. <laughs> Please tell me that's a drowning mirror for us. You actually sat, Doug. It's not Please, a drowning. Please, I not beg you. Drowning. It's not a drowning. Okay, it's whatever. two of the unchained Icarus oh, attack. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. GG's, Doug. Deck GG's. Oh that my god. A, that, was, that was a good episode. That was a good episode. I like that. Here we are with the deck of many things. What an episode. What an episode. So with the last five episodes here, some of these are a bit crazier. Not sure if we'll get one of those right immediately, but we'll see. We'll see. I draw a deck of many things. Oh, <laughs> an old favorite is returning. So let's give ourselves some uh, time next week for this one. Perfectly balanced. During the next episode only, both players must include, you already know, 10 commons, 10 rares, 10 supers, and 10 ultra rares. This episode last season was an absolute clusterfuck, and uh, hopefully it's the same for this season as well. It's one of my favorites. As soon as I find a strategy, as soon as I find a new <laughs> deck, Doug just comes Flips the table and shits all over it. All right, yep, I see yep. how it is. You'll have to. You can use some of those comments on those heretic uh, nuts or whatever. <laughs> those <laughs> were. All right, GGS, all right. and see you next week. Dug.
yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. No, it looks, it looks Thank really you. sick. Thank I appreciate actually. that. That's yeah, very nice. No, it's, it's cool. The fish is huge.